Hey, hi there, YouTube. Dominic, the CX guy. Welcome to another video. Today's topic is going to be another tutorial. How to add a sales pipeline in Zendesk Cell. So before we begin, please uh, subscribe to this channel. Please like this video. Also comment if you want to see some special content. And in the description, you will be able to find a ebook, an ebook uh, with eight tips on how to optimize your Zendesk support. So it's amazing because if you want to uh, deliver amazing customer experience, you need that in order to optimize your Zendesk. So check out the description. Okay, today's topic again: how to create a Zendesk, um, how to create a sales pipeline in Zendesk Cell. Um, I realize that some of you may be new. So again, my name is Dominic. I'm a Zendesk consultant. I've been one for the past eight years. I've been a Zendesk partner for the past two years, and I have also worked at Zendesk, and I'm here to share some of that knowledge. I just love this YouTube thing. <laughs> okay, so um, the way that this works, I will talk you through a little bit about best practices and the theory, and then I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to jump in and show you what we, how to build the sales pipeline. So a sales pipeline is for you, a way for you to uh, keep track of different sales processes and, um, have a vision, well, an overview of where your sales process is. I've been using Zenesel in my personal business and I love it. I can't really go back from it. And yeah, I want to share this with you because it's amazing and it's a, it's an amazing tool and it's an amazing addition from Zendesk. It's a relatively new tool. It's been around for the past, I think, year and a half. So um, it's, it's a great addition and it only made sense for Zendesk, right, for uh, offering uh, cutting edge customer service solutions to, yeah, um, also prospect the idea of being able to sell with Sandus, not just, uh, you know, uh, keeping your customers there for life and uh, yeah, always doing business with them and catering to their needs, but also maybe prospecting new ones or uh, yeah, selling some more of your products to your current user base. So let me share my screen and I will show you exactly what I have in mind. Okay, so hopefully you can see my screen. This is in our in my dashboard in my test account. Um, I'm going to go to the uh, settings, and I'm going to go to sales pipeline. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a new pipeline, and give it a name, demo, save. All right. So by default, Zendesk's uh, Zendesk functionality is offered into an already built or pre-built um sales pipeline which you can you can customize to match your exact uh, needs um and uh, this one the initial one is prospecting and i'm going to leave it as it is because this is where you would normally have your first contact with your leads where you prospect and you maybe inquire with a sequence of emails maybe uh which i've shown you in the previous in the previous video and you can go watch that so you're prospecting and uh yeah trying to find out what your customer wants right so you uh want does they do they want to buy more of your product do they want to buy uh, a new edition of your products do you want to buy your services or whatever your business is in right or whatever interest industry you're in and whatever products you're selling be it physical products or services like I do in my case. So prospecting for me means to um, start inquiring like what kind of services are you looking for? And the type of services that I'm look that I'm offering is Zendesk optimization, Zendesk uh, onboarding, Zendesk integration, Zendesk apps, um, reporting, uh, I don't know, classical consultancy for whatever features you don't know how to use. So anything around the Zendesk platform, I'm your guy. So I do the prospecting and then in this next phase, I don't say qualified, I have the call. What do I want to do? I want to set up a call, call with customer to understand scope. Yeah, this is what I want. And the win likelihood here is going to grow, right? So this is if you want a step-by-step -step process and the more you know about the customer, the more you understand about their business and what they're looking for, the higher the probability to win them over and uh, finish a sale. So um, bear in mind that uh, 
the process or the quality of your sales depends on the quality of you as a person, right? So in this book I'm reading uh, is a really nice quote, which says that you cannot grow your business. You can only grow your business and your sales process um, exactly how well you grow yourself. And the more success you have is uh, dependent on what kind of a person you are, the quality of the person that you are, right? So if you're a scoundrel, if you're trying to screw people over, you're not going to make it very far. And obviously that makes sense. If you're selling from the heart and you're trying to help your prospect, then you can only upside. If you want to cheat people over, of course, you're going to obviously um, be successful, successful maybe with a few prospects, but then, yeah, people are going to catch up onto it. So continuing, I digress. <laughs> um, I do the prospecting. I understand about the customer. I have a call with them and I understand the scope. Then I don't have a quote. I am going to send an offer to them. Right. So I send an offer and I say, OK, based on the call we had, these are the services that you need. This is the time it's going to take. This is the, the cost is going to be, et cetera. Right. So after this, I have a step which I'm going to add in here, another stage, which is going to be the scope of work. So scope of work. Right. So I have understood what the customer needs. I have sent the offer. The customer says, yes, good. I'd like to work together. And we have, a, we have to sign a contract, which is the scope of work. And this increases my chances, the likelihood of winning this over, right? So this is my fourth phase or fourth step. And after I send the scope of work, it's not going to be the closure. Uh, for me, it's going to be the signing. And this, the wing likelihood is increasing, right? It's 50-50, it doesn't always end well. But after the signing, you can, in this phase, you can either win the project, you can lose it, or if it's unqualified, right? And there's uh, quite a few reasons why it can be unqualified, why it can be lost. Um, mostly these two are obviously dependent on, for example, pricing, maybe the customer can't handle the price, or um, it's not a good time, it's not a good fit, it lost competition, et cetera, right? These are all tailored to your business. And these steps are also tailored to your business, right? So what we need to do now after we've created the steps is to assign this to a user. And let's see who we can assign this to. Let's assign it to Paul. Save. Make this as the default for him. Right, and now it has been saved, all good. Uh, what I need to do, um, I'm not going to add any custom fields because I don't need them right now. I need to refresh my screen. As with anything you add in Zendesk, always remember to refresh your screen. It always happens to me to forget, like, oh my God, <laughs> why isn't this working for me? It's because it didn't refresh. Okay, so I have created my demo pipeline, which is this one, is reflectant of my business and uh, the way that I sell services. And this is the way that I work. Um, for each of these, you can create a sequence of emails, right, to maybe put the customer uh, and understand what they're, um, this is how I do it. I have a sequence of emails. I have shown you how to create a sequence of emails. Uh, check out the other video about Zen Cell tutorial on how to create a sequence. Um, I send them a few emails, like automated emails, right? The more, the more you automate, the better. And I invite them to a call and I say, hey, uh, yeah, these are the services, maybe this is uh, what you're getting uh, and have a call with me because I can help you. And it's a free prospecting uh, call or a free call about understanding your needs. And also, yeah, you can ask me questions and you can cut corners, right? You don't necessarily want to uh, uh, spend time finding out things for yourself, rather ask me and I happily give that information for free. Then you go to the offer page, I send an offer, and if you agree to that, uh, we move over, ask for company details, we, I initiate this uh, contract or scope of work, and it's with you and your legal team, then if you go move here into signing, and then you decide if you want to sign or not, it's won or it's lost or it's maybe unqualified. All right, so let's create a deal. All right, so this is our deal. Uh, I'm going to switch to my demo the pipeline that I've just created right now, right? So there is nothing in here, it's fresh, it's new. So let's just add a deal and let's just walk it through the different stages. So deal name, demo deal for YouTube video. <laughs> Video. Primary contact, okay, let me choose someone. 
Um, do I have a test account here for myself? Yeah, let's do this guy value 10k source YouTube because we're on YouTube, right? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> pipeline mo please win likelihood i don't know maybe let's say eh, it's pretty high i don't know maybe like a 20 percent. who knows eh, like uh, stage what stage is this let's start with the with the beginning right do you see the stages that i um that we've added in our sales pipeline here they are prospecting call with the customer offer scope of work signing one unqualified or lost so we're on the first phase save and view deal and here it is. This is the deal for 10K. That's amazing. Now, let's go in here and watch what we have. So we're in prospecting, right? So we have this deal. And we can open it. And uh, we can potentially, potentially do something more. We can, uh, yeah, well, let's not initiate it right now. <clears throat> for my other sales pipeline, of course it is. You have, I don't have a sales or an email address associated with the sales pipeline, but that's okay. I could potentially send an email here and say, hey, um, I don't know, uh, do you want to move forward? And if the customer responds and says, yes, I would like to have a call with you. Yeah, let's do that. And then we have a call. We go, we move to prospecting and we go to the homepage and we're here, call with the customer. It means that we are moving forward and are having a call with the customer. Then we go and we send an offer because yeah, we found out what the uh, customer needs so we can send an offer and the customer can decide based on that offer and say, hmm, yeah, sure, I'd like that. Can you, what's the next steps? So when we go and send a scope of work, right? So update this, go to the deal homepage and here it is, it moves one step further. It's in the deal. <clears throat> Now we go in here and we go to signing phase, right? So the customer has received everything that it, they need to sign. So we are in this very delicate state where they finally, where they have a final say and either they move forward or not. So in this one, we can go ahead and we can say this was lost. Oh my God, what's the reason why this was lost? Lost to competition, poor follow-up or ghosted. These are the reasons that I have created for myself. I have been rejected so many times since I started doing my own selling. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm getting my, my, my skin is getting really thick <laughs> from getting ghosted so many times, like having regular normal conversations with people and then they just ghost me. It's not very pretty. <laughs> it's not very pretty, but um, yeah, it is what it is. And yeah, you don't take offense. However, Ever since I started doing this, if I, um, I was very careful before with whenever requesting support, but now I'm extra careful when somebody's trying to sell me something. I always, I'm very clear and say, no, thank you. I can't, I don't want to, right? At least that person knows like, yeah, okay, cool. You know, no, no, no offense taken. But if you're ghost them, oh my God, that's the worst. Anyway, you do whatever you want. I'm just saying, I'm just one guy with one perspective, who cares? So, okay, save this one, ghost it, it's lost, go back to the, here we go, it's enclosed, and uh, like, let's click here, it's in lost, here it is, it was lost, you know, you win some, you lose some, what can you do? Anyway, this has been in short, um, how to create a sales pipeline, how you can use it, and yeah, why it is important for you to create this and keep an eye out for your sales. I, for one, I can't believe how useful this is and I can't, I don't want to use anything else right now. I'm love, I'm in love with this tool. Um, I will follow up with uh, how to add leads and how to start a process and how to start it from start, how to have a sales process from start to finish. Um, I had, yeah, I, uh, that's it. That's today's video. The only thing that I want to say is um, I, before before this video, I had I was recording another one which got interrupted uh, close to the end. And now I had to do it again, but I wanted to emphasize that um, I am not alone. I'm Dominic CX and team. I there's nine people now, and you're not always going to have Dominic working with you directly. I'm not 
I'm sorry, I'm referring to myself in the third person. You're not going to work with me directly. Uh, I am, however, I'm always going to oversee what's going on because I have all the experience and the most experience and I've had almost more than 250 projects that I went through by myself. And I am, yeah, I am overseeing the whole thing, but somebody else might implement it for you because, well, the good thing is about these methodologies is that they work, right? So they work very well. And if you, once you learn them, you can teach them to other people. They are well-written, well-documented and easy to understand, hopefully. Um, and once you learn them, you can teach to other people. I, please don't steal my business, okay? <laughs> anyway, please don't come in, come in, learn what you want to learn and then go in and do it yourself. I mean, do it, but anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I digress again. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.